Hey everybody, I'm uh, Chris Avalon. I am the uh, creative director for Obsidian Entertainment. And by now you will have heard that NXile is planning to do a Torment Kickstarter. And as far as I'm concerned, that is fucking great news. That is my thumb right there. That is a show of support. Uh, I really believe that those guys can get the job done, and I will tell you why. First off, this piece of paper you see before you is the very first page of the vision document that we did for Planescape Torment way back when. And this game never would have been made had not Brian Fargo, who is currently the CEO at Exile, had given it his show of support and financed the game in the first place. Um, Brian is to be thanked. Brian is the reason that Planescape Torment even exists in the first place. So I have faith from that alone. Next up, uh, Brian is not the only guy at NXIL that I have a lot of faith in. Um, this fine character you have right here is Kevin Saunders. Uh, he is a producer and a designer that I worked with at Obsidian Entertainment. And Kevin is a great guy. Uh, he is responsible for uh, leading the charge on Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask the Betrayer. And if you have not played that title, uh, you should. If you have played that title, you will know that there are a lot of strong thematic similarities between Mask the Betrayer and the whole Torment franchise. Uh, so with Kevin on board, I feel Feel pretty confident about that but it doesn't stop there we've also got uh, Colin McComb uh, and Colin was one of the original designers on Planescape Torment back at Interplay and he designed a great many areas for the game and the game would have been uh, of a much lower quality bar had he not been there and contributed. Uh, Colin has done a lot of work for the Planescape license over the years. Uh, he is a strong writer. He's got a number of uh, novellas already out in print. That is all awesome. Uh, Colin is a good guy, and the thought that he's doing design work on the new Torment game fills me with joy. Also, um, they have other members of the Torment team. Uh, they also have on board... Uh, Adam Heine, who was uh, one of the principal programmers and scripters on Planescape Torment. Adam put in a lot of long hours to make sure the game was solid and the areas were fleshed out, and the game would have been much worse off without his presence. And uh, last but not least, uh, they also have Monty Cook on board. And if you're not familiar with all that Monty has done in the name of role-playing games, I strongly encourage you to Google his name and see his long list of credentials and why he's a perfect fit for a new Torment game. Uh, Monty has done a lot of excellent work over the years, and the fact that he's associated with this product makes me super happy. Um, so in short, uh, I guess what I wanted to say was uh, overall, uh, the idea of an exile uh, doing a new torment game, I think, is an incredibly fucking great idea. Uh, they have my support. I certainly hope that they have yours. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where they take the franchise. Uh, if you enjoy role playing games, this is a project worthy of your support, and I encourage you to do so. So, anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, go out there and do your pledge.